a function approach is when its input x approaches some other value. Limits can be evaluated at right hand, left hand, or general limits which approach from both sides. Left hand limits approach from the left, and right hand limits approach from the right. For a limit to exist, the left and right hand limits must match with each other. A general limit may not exist, but its left and right hand limits may exist. Therefore, limits may not exist where there are asymptotes, such as the function 1 over x at x equals 0, or where there are too many oscillations, such as the function sine of 1 over x at x equals 0, or where there are jump discontinuities, where the limits from either side don't match. When evaluating a limit, basic algebraic properties like the limit sum and difference rule apply. When evaluating a limit, first try direct substitution. If that doesn't work, as in you end up with an intermediate form, try algebraically manipulating your function, like factoring and canceling. After that, retry direct substitution. Once you end up with a number, drop the mic. If the algebra doesn't work, use L'Hopital's rule. When discussing the end behavior of a function, we can take the limit of the function as it tends to positive or negative infinity, and if it converges, then we have found its horizontal asymptote. When evaluating an infinite limit, focus only on the highest power terms, since higher degree terms are more important in terms of end behavior. There are many applications of limits like derivatives and integrals, and thus intermediate value theorem, which states that for a function f of x that is continuous on the closed interval a, b, and f of a is not equal to f of b, then f of x takes on every value between f of a and f of b on that interval. function is continuous at a point x equals a if the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists, f of a exists, and the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. A function is continuous if it is continuous at every point on its domain.